What's up, this is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this video, I'm gonna try out every single gun that you can buy at Harbor Freight. Let's go. So today we are gonna be clearing the 1954 Chevy. I love the patina on this. I just wanna get it sealed up with some nice clear. We are gonna do a metal flake, lace, crazy low rider roof paint job, but we're not gonna do that in this video. We'll do that in its own video. In this video, we're gonna try out all the guns from Harbor Freight. Uh, if you haven't seen these, this is like a $12 gun. You can catch these on sale for 10 bucks. I've used these before, I absolutely love them, especially for like a primer. They're just a really good, durable little gun and it's 10 bucks you know this is their higher up version this is 24.99 this is basically this gun with some more durable parts it's a little bit easier to clean stuff like that this is actually a professional level gun for 149 this basically the way it was explained to me whenever i was asking if a if a hobbyist wanted to use this gun he could use this gun basically forever not have any issues with it it's just really durable really nice has interchangeable tips everything you can buy all the parts for it to clean it out this is a really nice professional gun if a guy you know, he's gonna do a couple paint jobs, maybe a month or whatever, it'd be perfect. Their Black Widow, this is their professional line for a guy who literally sprays every single day. The Black Widow, however, is a professional level gun. If you work at a body shop and you paint cars for a living, this is the gun for you. These run about $240. This is a gun that you could spray 50, 60 hours a week with for years and not have any issues. This is a very high level gun. I know several painters who have this and they've said nothing but great things about it. So I'm very excited to try it out. Um, I also am kind of excited to try these two. I haven't tried them. I've tried their purple gun before. This being as high end as it is, I've tried high end guns. We actually have a Sada and an AccuSpray, which are like thousand dollar guns I've used before. And I like them. These two I'm kind of interested in and I wanna see how they do. So first thing we need to do is, I've already got the car scuffed, but what I need to do is I need to pop some of this trim off because I'm going to be getting a new windshield, a new back glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the trim off to get ready for that. And then we will start taping and uh, hopefully shoot it. The good thing is whenever you're doing, you know, just a clear coat over patina, you don't have to go too crazy with your prep. The only thing I don't wanna do is I don't really wanna get overspray all over my bumpers, all over my wheels, all over my chrome, you know, stuff like that. So we need to do a bunch of taping and then it'll be pretty much just a scuff and shoot. Let's get her taped off first. Check it out, got it all taped off. I'm gonna go ahead and just clear the bumpers. I taped, I started taping off this one and when I peeled it off, the chrome came with the tape. That's how shitty the chrome is on those. Same thing with the hood emblem. I went ahead and hit that with some steel wool and it looked worse. So a little bit of gloss clear is gonna make those look even better. Same thing with this. I went ahead and left this open so we can go ahead and have it matching with the clear and then the roof will just be painted on its own later. Very, very excited. Got it all taped off. There's a lot of trim to tape off on these. Also, check this out. I rigged up my GoPro on the paint gun and it will show the spray and then also show how it's laying out on the car. Should be interesting. Hopefully it works out good. Uh, it's a real pain in the ass to change it on every single gun, but I'm gonna do it. So hopefully it lays out. I don't know how I'm gonna break up the panels just yet. I'm gonna figure that out in a minute, but I think I'm gonna do, you know, maybe like the hood with the cheap gun the fenders with the mid-level gun, you know, something like that. But I'll break those down and I'll, I don't know how I'm gonna do it just yet, but I wanna like mark it on each one so I know what it is when it dries. So, you know, there's no, we can look at each panel to see how it laid out different, how it sprayed different, all that, to see if there's any difference in them. I know there is, but I wanna see what it looks like on camera. Let's figure that out real quick. So it is starting to heat up and we are running out of time. The heat index today is 115 and <laughs> it's just gonna be brutal in here in about another hour so we're gonna move real fast i went ahead and blocked these off we're gonna do the cheap gun on the hood we're gonna do the mid-level gun on the fenders obviously i'll move this tape around but you know we'll start with the cheap gun go to the mid and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the hobbyist pro which is that specter gun which is basically the best gun you'd ever need if you were just doing this 
you know, in your own shop. We're going to do the driver's side with that. And then I'm going to do the pro gun, the Black Widow, which is a, if you work at a body shop, you can use this gun every single day. We're going to use that on the driver's side. And then I'll let all this dry, you know, overnight. It will come back in tomorrow, kind of look how everything, kind of see how everything looks. And then we'll also, I don't know what I'm going to be able to see out of the GoPro, but we'll, you know, we'll kind of check that and see how that looks. Because I think you should be able to see a little bit as I'm spraying. Right now, though, I got to do my old nemesis math also shout out to poppy's patina they have been sending me clear coat for patina for like a year now and just anytime i need it, they hook it up and the stuff is awesome oh math i'm gonna make you my bitch today this mixing cup has numbers on it i think oh well, a little bit of extra harder never killed anybody right Also, I don't have any stir sticks, so uh, I'm using a giant bolt. It's fine, I clean it with brake cleaner, it's okay. Let's throw her in here and see what happens. So I'm in between coats. Um, I just did the hood with the super cheap gun and I did the rest of the front clip with the green gun, which is like a $25 gun. It actually really surprised me. I had never used that one before. Um, it really impressed me, it was doing good. But I wanna say I'm setting up everything for the, you know, this is the whatever pro level hobbyist gun. It's like a $140 gun. You can just already tell like the difference. Like the spring is good. It fits in your hand better. Like it just, it, it's a little bit heavier. It's like an actual, you know, quality piece, but uh, we'll see what happens. The green one actually surprised me. It was really good. Oh, also, I'm shooting really fast and really quick just because it's so hot today. So if you see the GoPro and it just looks like I'm dumping paint, I am, I'm just moving real quick. So let's see how this one does. This gun feels amazing. <laughs> very, very happy with this one so far. Let's see how it's spread. Check it out, it is the next day. Got clear on it, it looks so good. I absolutely love it. I wasn't sure about going with the gloss. Sometimes the gloss is a little too shiny, but I did a thin enough coat. The rust kind of sucked it up a little bit and it just came out perfect. 
I can tell a big difference between the panels. I don't know what you're gonna see on camera though, but either way, the first thing I need to do is get all this tape off of here and uh, we'll take a closer look. So it is on the ground now. You can definitely tell that the roof isn't cleared <laughs> just by how dull it is compared to the rest of the car. This was actually a gloss clear, but it kind of looks matte because I didn't really put it on super heavy. The rust will really suck in a lot of your paint. So if I wanted it super shiny, like a normal paint job, I would have did another coat. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. I don't know what you can see on camera on the difference between each gun. I can see it myself quite a bit. The worst by far is this one. It's kind of dry in some spots and then just, just like randomly a run everywhere. These, these work great. Um, for primer, I always call them primer guns, but there's just not a ton of adjustability on them. So it's real easy to go from like almost no air pressure to just a shitload of air pressure. So you can still do a good paint job with these. You can do a good paint job with any gun, uh, but this one definitely has a little bit of flaws in it. The green one, this was the mid-range like $25 gun. That was like the $10 gun. Uh, this one actually really surprised me. It doesn't feel great in the hand. It kind of feels clunky, but it sprays really well. Um, I actually liked it a lot. This is probably um, what I will start using for like a cheap throwaway gun. I've always used those before. I'm probably, probably start using those because it works really well. But just like the purple one, it has a little bit of inconsistency in it. It sprayed out pretty good. I think I got a little bit of a run right there. I got a little too heavy. But I mean, both of those were fine. I mean, for what they are, you know, obviously you're not going into them thinking they're gonna be perfect, but you can do a great job of them. The adjustability just isn't great. And when it comes to these cheaper guns, durability, how long they will last is obviously the biggest factor. You know, this gun after, you know, 10 or 15 uses, it just kind of starts to get beat down. I've seen guys use these for years actually, and they do fine, but um, you just have to do a lot more. And there's just not as many parts you can take apart and clean like you can on a nicer gun. This Spectra, Spectre, I think. Yeah, no, wait, hold on, shit. This is the Spectrum gun. It worked absolutely perfect. It's a super nice, well-built gun. This is basically, this is a professional gun. It worked perfect. No issues, sprayed out great, feels good in the hand. You can definitely tell a difference with these better guns on how much paint gets on the panel versus how much is in the air. This isn't even the high efficiency HTE guns. It's still HVLP. I actually have the HTE guns. We're gonna try those in a different video, but just a nicer HVLP compared to the older or to the cheaper guns. You can just see a difference like in the air. <laughs> like these just fog out your whole shop when you're painting them. These, they get a lot more paint onto the panel versus just kind of being airborne. It just doesn't take the air pressure that the other ones need. And it looks perfect. This, I will say though, the Black Widow is probably the nicest gun I've ever used. We're gonna do another video on this gun versus uh, a Sada gun because it is just, it's just really, really nice. And to be completely honest with you, you know, not to talk shit on Harbor Freight, but I think that gun is 149 and that one's like 219 or 229. So for 70 bucks difference, why wouldn't you go with a, you know, basically like industrial strength gun that could last you forever? Um, I'm not saying that that one couldn't. This is a great gun. It looks great. It looks like everything can be taken apart and clean. So it should technically last forever, but just the way this one's built, it looks built. It's built a little bit better. It feels better in your hand. So if I was doing it, and it was only 70 extra bucks. I understand if this gun was double the price of that one, but for 75, 80 bucks, why wouldn't you go with just the top of the line gun? I don't know if they want me saying that, <laughs> but that's kind of how I feel about it. Like if the best part you needed in the world was only 10% more than the second best part, why wouldn't you just go ahead and buy the best? So um, both of these were great. You cannot tell a difference. This one just felt really good in the hand. It sprayed very, very well. And just like the other one, there's just the fog is so much, it just looks so much better. It doesn't fog your whole shop out. Like I said, I don't know what you can see on video, but I mean, it is just perfect. Laid out great. Very, very happy. I don't know what the GoPro is gonna show. I've, I've looked a little bit of the GoPro footage and you can really tell the fan difference on the better guns than the cheaper ones. But all in all, this was fun. Uh, I'm happy I did it. I really like the Black Widow. We're, we're definitely gonna do a Black Widow versus my dad's Sada. He has a Sada 5000, I think it is, which was like an $1,100 gun or whatever it was. And I think it'll be good to kind of do a video against those two to see how they compare. The, the cool thing with paint, just painting in general, is the tool helps a lot, but if you're skilled and you take your time, you can make any of these guns work great. We did a paint job with one of these cheap purple guns years ago on my YouTube channel. It worked out fine. It worked out great. It looked awesome. We did it with a nicer gun and you know, you couldn't tell with the proper prep. So I like them all, but I would say there is definitely a difference 
as you go up the line price point. This one though, this one really shocked me. That, that's probably gonna be, I'm gonna buy three of these and just beat the hell out of them <laughs> because I like them. 25 bucks, it's hard to beat for that. I'm super happy that uh, the car is cleared too, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I am so excited to get the 54 cleared and it's just one step closer to being done. Hopefully the damn glass shows up anytime soon. Very, very happy to try out all these guns from Harbor Freight. I was really, really impressed by the Black Widow. It, it was a lot nicer gun than I was expecting. I also was very impressed by this little $24.99 gun. It was a lot nicer than I was expecting too. So like I said, I've always used these purple guns before. I think I'm gonna probably bump up to that one for like primer and just a little beat around type gun. But thank you very much for watching. This was a ton of fun. We got a couple more of these videos coming up. We're gonna do some fun stuff with HTE versus HVLP and what the hell that even means for a dumb person, you know, like me. Uh, we're gonna go through all that. We're also probably gonna do a video where we try and see how cheap we can paint a car with like a cheap used compressor, one of these cheapy guns and kind of see how it comes out. I think it'll be a ton of fun, but thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff I tell you at the end of the video. Check out some more of my other videos. Peace. Love ya.